Hey everyone, Team UDF here for some more Smash Wii UDF. Holy flu, we're doing these things like wildfire now that we can actually freaking edit them. In any case, we're on the Goar Plains tonight, according to Firestar's pronunciation of it. We're also live on Twitch.tv. We've got a Strange Bedfellows tag team match for you to kick things off this evening. Uh, Mario and, Dar and uh, Pit going to team up against Bowser Jr. and Dark Pit for their warm-up match here. Heading into the next show, Plaza Party, because it's finally time for another major event here in Smash Wii UDF land. We've got six exciting matches planned for you on that show, and we've got one more to announce tonight. So, first, let's see who can get a bit of an advantage here going into Plaza Party. We know Pit and Dark Pit looking to fight for these six fairy bottles or something, and I believe uh, Pit has also mentioned that Dark Pit has kidnapped Palutena as well, so there's that one we got to deal with. And meanwhile, Mario, having the worst of luck lately against Bowser Jr., lost a huge match to him at the Kalos Dream event. And now, since Bowser Jr. has defeated both uh, Peach and Yoshi, Bowser Jr. believes that he should be the new king of the Mushroom Kingdom. And so, therefore, Mario and Bowser Jr., it's on. Mario has agreed at Plaza Party, the Mushroom Kingdom is on the line. Will Bowser Jr. be able to own the Mushroom Kingdom, or can Mario help Princess Peach out here? So let's see, interesting this is that we got Mario versus Dark Pit right now. Oh, but Bowser Jr. coming down to maybe try and make it a 2v1. Pit floating away there. Oh, he's got something. Let's see what he's got in his hand because Bowser Jr. at the last minute noticed it and tried to... Oh, he's got a beetle! Beetle on Dark Pit! Dark Pit, wow. Barely manages to avoid elimination there. Uh-oh. Here we go. Let's see, Mario and Bowser Jr. now going at it. Is this the metal face that you guys were telling me about? So let's see, huge blast coming, sweeping across the whole stage, absolutely destroying it, leveling it there. Oh, and Bowser Jr. takes a fall in the midst of all the confusion. Mario and Pit doing a 2v1 now in Dark Pit, but Bowser Jr. coming back down there. Trying to counter this whole thing here. Oh, Bomb takes down the Metal Face, does a bit of damage to him. Let's see, everyone really trying to stay away from Metal Face here. But meanwhile, Mario, now in a 2v1 against the green team. I can't imagine the hatred that these four must share for their respective opponents. Wow, Metal Face devastates everyone before leaving, finally. Okay, Pit now getting a good shot against both members of the green team here. Mario going after Dark Pit again. Mario's got Dark Pit, could throw him out right here. Dark Pit eliminated. So far, Pit and Mario showing that they're coming to claim what's rightfully theirs at Plaza Party. Dark Pit's got to get back up, though. Bowser Jr. could be none too happy about this, given the huge advantage he had against Mario at the Kalos Dream event. Bowser Jr. had to abandon his uh, ship for a while there. Metal Face is lonely. All right. <laughs> Uh-oh, big shot here by Dark Pit on Mario. Mario counters, it looks like. Pit also floating about here. Bowser Jr. is in trouble. He could be eliminated. And Dark Pit trying to do everything he can against the Rep Team, but... Uh, Bowser Jr. now, not really getting in the fray to help him all that much. Here's a Super Mushroom. Could be a Super Mushroom in any case. Nobody's really going for it, so maybe it was a Mini. Oh, nice shot there against Pit, but Pit's still in it. As is Dark Pit, who almost went flying. Pit he takes a huge hit, but because the stage is so big, he's not going to get eliminated here. Mario and Pit doing a very good job managing their stocks right now. And Bowser Jr. realizes it, but he gets a huge blast. Mario going right after him. Let's see, maybe not. Uh oh, here comes Metal Face again. May have spoken too soon. Here's a lack of two from Mario. Interesting choice there. Oh, but Mario gets shot by Bowser Jr., who tries to take advantage of the situation. Everyone's staying away from Metal Face. Firestar says Metal Face is grump. Pit now. The only thing here is that Dark Pit now has to contend with both members of the red team, and Bowser Jr. is really nowhere near him. Maybe Bowser Jr. and Dark Pit not really getting along here. And, uh,. Now Dark Pit finds himself in a 2v1 situation. Dark Pit thrown into Metal Face, but manages to avoid the claw slash. Wow. Holy crap. Pit getting beat up. Nobody gets hit by the final assault this time. Everyone's just got high damage values now. This is very dangerous. There goes Bowser Jr. finally. All of his waiting around did not pay off. And now Mario and Dark Pit may, or uh, Mario and Pit may take this thing flawlessly. Unless Pit can figure out some way to come back from this thing. His partner left him high and drive a pit. Dark Pit manages to eliminate Mario, finally. But he's still got that whole stock to go after. I don't know why Dark Pit is going up here on this, this part of the stage. I think he would want to stay down below. Since he's got that high damage, Mario sneaks up from behind as Pit distracts Dark Pit. Oh, but Pit distracted now! Dark Pit managing to eliminate Pit! Wow! So Dark Pit 
doing more work than uh, Bowser Jr. ever could have in this whole match. Dark Pit floating away now. He's trying to buy himself some time here. I don't know if he can. Big shot by Pit, but Dark Pit's still in it. And now Pit, Dark Pit is an item. He doesn't want it though, it seems. Maybe going for the big shot here, but now Pit's got him. Gonna finish him off right here. Nice effort by, uh, effort. Nice effort by Dark Pit though. Apparently Bowser Jr. just left him high and dry in this match. Dark Pit cannot be happy about that at all as Mario and Pit gain huge momentum heading into Plaza Party. Oh man, that was uh, that was not good if you're Bowser Jr. and Dark Pit, but uh, well, we've been seeing a lot of surprising losses lately, so here we go. Let's set up the next match. I think we've got more tag team action for you coming up. Oh, we've got the next tag team match for you guys tonight. Looks like we're going all tag teams all day. Probably not, but uh, we've got a lot of tag teams for you. Seems we've got Ness and Locus, Team Mother versus Pikachu and Cloud, Team Bad Weather. I don't know. But of course, remember that uh, Cloud, he's still trying to make his way here in Smash Wii UDF land. He wants a rematch against Link at Plaza Party. Because Link uh, won that Golden Ticket Tournament. Cloud was none too happy. He wants to make a better impression on the Smash Wii UDF universe here. And of course, we've got uh, that sixth match hanging in the wings here. We'll go ahead and announce it now. It has to do with Pikachu, actually. So since uh, you guys picked Pikachu, I can go ahead and announce it now. Pikachu and Samus going to do the salty runback match against each other at Plaza Party. Remember, Samus and Pikachu were eliminated by Robin in that contendership match a couple shows ago. Robin gets to go fight Ganondorf, but uh, Pikachu and Samus, they've decided to uh, uh, have a friendly bout at Plaza Party with all the serious stuff going on. So we'll have a, a little intermission there with the salty runback match. But right now, let's get to the live action. Ness high damage. Pikachu kind of getting there, but he's got two pieces of the Dragoon. You know, Pikachu has been using has used that Dragoon in the past to eliminate people. Hey, he's going to do it again, maybe. Who's he's going to go for, though? Misses. Ness managing to get out of the way. Oh, here we go. It's Metal Face time. And uh, that's the daybreak, but uh, looks like Cloud was not able to get his hands on it. Oh, no, Cloud. Oh, I thought it was going to be eliminated here. Managed to stay on. Uh, Ness ma managing to use the thunder to get back on himself in a slash by... Oh, look at that. The daybreak. It's taunting everyone, but Metal Face is right there, so I don't know if anyone's gonna you know, wanna try to go get their hands on two pieces of the Daybreak sitting there now. Meanwhile, that's getting destroyed over here. Managed to blast Pikachu away. Lucas and Cloud doing a bit of damage to each other. Kind of avoiding each other, Thunder misses. Metal Face has had enough of this crap. Pikachu now with the Daybreak! Oh, but gets blasted back! Pikachu, he's got all the items at his disposal this time, but Ness is gonna try and eliminate him before he can use it, I think, but oh my god! Ness getting devastated by the daybreak in the corner there, could not see it. Finally, a little bit an elimination here in this match. There you go. Uh-oh, Ness was trying to get back up, but the platform went back up. He managed to get back on anyway. Ness taking high damage here for his last stock. Lucas in trouble as well. All right, Ness gets back up. Oh, Bash is plowed away. Pikachu climbing back up to take on Lucas. Cloud barely misses, or barely gets that platform. There's the Eye of uh, Doom or whatever it slid. Assist trophy in play. Pikachu goes flying thanks to Lucas. Pikachu's high damage, but that's no surprise. He likes to surprise us all with his ability, I believe. Lucas could be going for the final smash here. Dark Samus in play again. A lot of Dark Samus tonight. And Dark Samus is going to give him the chance to get this uh, PK Destruction of Doom. PK Destruction of Doom taken out. The entirety of the green team, and now Ness and Lucas find themselves in the lead, right as Firestar says that Bad Weather's doing pretty well for himself. Pikachu beating up Ness, though. So if he can eliminate Ness... Oh my god! Devastation! Wow! Team Green coming right back! Team Bad Weather just getting rid of him! The Star Storm, not enough! And now Lucas is alone! Poor Lucas, he just can't escape! PK Freeze not doing any good against Cloud, who avoids it. Metal Face now. So Pikachu and Cloud are going to try to just annihilate. Nope. No. Lucas getting beat up by Cloud. Cloud's got that limit break charge. So he's going to be doing a bit more damage here. Can Lucas weather the storm here, or is Team Bad Weather just going to devastate everything here? 
Looks like Metal Face not doing a whole lot, but he's still got his last minute sweep. Now it misses. All right, Lucas, meanwhile, he's in dire straits here. Pikachu, oh, here's combo attack. But Lucas still surviving. Wow, valiant effort here by Lucas. I mean, he does only have one stock of piece against him, so if he can get some lucky shots or maybe some items or something, we could see a comeback, but... Uh... Oh, Lucas gets a nice shot on Cloud, blocks the uh, the electric attack from Pikachu. Oh, man, oh, but Pikachu suckers him in and Cloud manages to get the cheap shot. PK Freeze coming. Uh, Lucas, a very dangerous game on the ledge here. Limit Break charged up by Cloud. Right in the middle, Lucas finds himself of both these competitors. Huge combo attack! And they're out. Cloud finally finds a victory here in Smash Wii UDF, and courtesy of his tag team partner, of course. But a good effort by Ness and Lucas, who we haven't seen too much of. I guess that's kind of the theme of today's show, is we haven't seen most of these competitors too much, but uh, obviously Pikachu plenty, and Cloud's coming up there now, trying to maybe win his way toward a champion to champions match, or now maybe they just found a tag team partner they can go for the tag team championships at some point. Pikachu just wants to help everyone out. Yeah, I know, what a, what a class act that Pikachu is. Just trying to help everyone out. Fight the entourage of darkness, be tag team partners with people, has the friendly match against Samus at Plaza Party, nothing on the line that you just want to, you know, have at it, get one final match out between each other before they part ways once and for all, it seems. All right, we finally decided, it seems, we're going to settle for a triple threat match here. Remember, you know, Shulk has had some trouble trying to win some matches here in Smash Wii UDF, so he's invoked two mentors to help him here. The first mentor is Rob, and the second mentor, he seems to have found Sheik hiding around here. So, let's go ahead and see if Shulk can learn a thing or two from his mentors here in this triple threat match. Alright, Shulk going right after Rob. Looks like she's gonna charge up her, uh, I don't know if it's Shuriken she's got, or, uh, or knives or whatever, but... Shulk, uh, maybe gonna try to achieve victory with the Monado Arts here on his home stage, because, uh... Uh-oh, Golden Hammer down there by Sheik, and Shulk runs right into it for some reason. Maybe Shulk believes that he has to take some punishment in order to learn a thing or two about smashing. And he's got the ray gun. He gets a good shot on Robin. Oh, Sheik goes out! Interesting uh, folly there. Rob beating up uh, Shulk for a bit. The knives are kunai, doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Kunai sounds fun. Shulk getting a good shot. A couple, wait, a few good shots on Rob, but now Rob is super Rob. And Sheik disposes of Shulk. Now Rob finds himself in the lead. Shulk down to his last stock. Rob in the lead here, but Shulk could maybe eliminate. Nope. Rob's still in play. Sheik maybe gonna go finish the job. Uh oh, metal, uh, metal face time, of course. Oh! Shulk suddenly takes out Rob with the help of Sheik, and now Sheik in trouble! Holy crap! Sheik defeated by Shulk! Shulk now finds himself in a one on one situation against Rob. Can Shulk finally win a match? We're about to find out. They're playing it safe, though, because of Metal Face, but Rob looks like he's gonna try to come over, but, uh, Metal Face now. Didn't do too much damage against Rob. Ah, oh, but, uh, Rob trying for a big shot there. Mr. Shulk maybe gonna try and throw him into Metal Face, but now they're both gone. Here goes Rob. Both playing hugely dangerous game on the ledge. Shulk now getting pile-driven into the, into the, uh, canvas there. And now Shulk taking out Rob with a nice combination. Fairly low damage amounts, I don't expect an elimination anytime soon, but uh, Rob does counter Shulk there. So with the help of his mentor here, maybe maybe Shulk... Oh my god, he barely got back on the freaking ledge. Moltres here. I don't know if Shulk got that or if that was Rob, but Rob doesn't seem, or, uh, Shulk doesn't seem too concerned with it, so it might have been Rob. Rob's got high damage here. Here's a useless bird. Oh, big shot and Shulk does it! <laughs> Shulk wins the match! I don't believe it! Shulk wins a match here in Smash Wii UDF. A triple threat match, no doubt. Perhaps the teachings of Sheik and Rob have finally put Shulk where he needs to be. Firestar can't even believe it. Shulk just won a match. She's just completely... She has no idea. She, she doesn't even know what to say. Survival! Historic moment, says Firestar. Shulk won a match.
Konami seriously plays bad. <laughs> So it's time for a main event of the evening. The Entourage of Darkness forced to compete tonight. And it looks like they've recruited Bayonetta to their cause as well. I don't know what's going on there. Of course, Ganondorf refusing to tell us anything about anything he does. He is the champion of champions after all. Because he hates everyone. But it looks like Robin has recruited some people to come help him fight the Entourage of Darkness. We've got Link, holder of the golden ticket. We've got Lucario. And of course, we know Samus has been adamantly against... The champion of champions Ganondorf for the longest time now. Here we go. We've got just this huge mess of a main event. Three stocks to a finish, of course. Let's see which team is going to get huge momentum heading into Plaza Party here. And it's, this is especially important for Ganondorf because Ganondorf is actually the only one on his whole team competing at Plaza Party. Robin, Link, and Samus all competing for their team. But it looks like Lucario willing to help him out a bit here. But Lucario in trouble as he fights against Wario. King DDD going up against, uh, uh, oh my god, Robin there. Ganondorf maybe sending his minions to go try and get Ganondorf, or, uh, Robin. But Robin going right up against Ganondorf as well. This is going to be a mess until it gets down to just a few people. So here we go. Champion of Champions maybe running away, start, trying to stay behind, uh, King DDD there as he, as he, uh, it's in the fray. He's really not doing a whole lot. Lucario, I think, senses that and is trying to get his hands on him. Oh, but Ganondorf grabs! Lucario sends him flying. And now Samus up there with the Babomb! Oh no, gets sent into the Babomb to Samus, but uh. Alright. So yeah, this one's just going to be a huge mess. Oh no, Link in trouble. As Ganondorf goes one on one with Link. <laughs> what a rivalry these guys have had. Oh, the series of Legend of Zelda. Nighttime, you know what that means. Oh no, what happened to Robin? Robin self-destructed, got stuck somewhere, and Samus goes flying. Oh no! The good guys are down two stocks right now. Ganondorf's got to be pleased about this. Ganondorf getting blasted up. I think he's just going to use that the opportunity to run away and hide behind his new minions. Stays on the ledge. Bayonetta has taken, like, no damage this whole match. I'm just now realizing. Thanks to Twitch chat. Thank you, Ralph Project. Oh, but now she's starting getting beat up a little bit. Could Bayonetta be all the difference that Ganondorf needs to finally get a one-up? Oh no, Link! <laughs> oh no! Oh wow, Ganondorf up to 101. You know if Ganondorf goes out, we're never gonna hear about the end of it, so he better stay in for the sake of my ears. Daytime again, and yeah, no metal face on a player smash. All right, Ganondorf, got it! Oh man, he goes out, and I'm already hearing the complaints now, but uh, luckily he'll have to stay focused on the match. Everyone's getting beat up, there's just so much, so much crap going on right now. I see the electrode by Samus. Looks like Link and uh, Bayonetta have a one-on-one -on -one going on over here. King DDD goes out. Oh, but so does Robin and Lucario now. Oh no! The Entourage of Darkness might have the advantage here for once with their new recruit, Bayonetta. Ganondorf, he's got to be living large right now. He's just standing on that platform, just boots Samus out of the way. I just think Ganondorf doesn't even believe that Samus is worthy of his presence right now. But Robin trying to go after the champion of champions. Maybe get a preview of Plaza Party before we see those two go one-on-one -on -one for the championship. Wario goes out finally. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Robin goes out again. What is wrong with Robin tonight? He's not on top of his game right now, it seems. King DD and Bayonetta in trouble there in the corner. Ganondorf in trouble in the corner now. Lucario trying to invoke the the, uh, the final smash here, but King DDD gets it. Oh no! King DDD, calm down. The big hammer. And uh, I don't think anything came of that. But uh, Robin now in trouble. He's on his last stock in the corner. Bayonetta finally goes out. The entourage is still up eight stocks to five, though. And this thing is not looking good right now. As Samus just loses her bonus stock, so now if Robin goes out, the number one contender will not be in the rest of the match. Mini Mush as well. Midna's in play, I believe, on the part of the red team, but there she goes. Robin gets back to size now. Everyone, oh my god, the Entourage is just swarming right now. I think the Entourage's strategy here was to go up against each competitor individually and eliminate them, and they've done just that. And now Ganondorf trying to eliminate Samus once and for all, but decides to retreat as he's about to get eliminated himself. Link with a huge shot, and but it looks like Robin is out. The Entourage playing a clever game here. They eliminate their main threat. 
Link goes out as well, the golden ticket holder. That leaves Lucario and Samus to fend off this huge attack. And there goes Ganondorf! Can, can Lucario and Samus somehow? There's, there's no way! The Entourage play just a devastating game here. It looks like they came with a game plan. And they've executed that plan to perfection, but now Wario down to his last stock, but they've- And King DDD out! Oh my god! Can Lucario and Samus do it? Samus up against the King DDD. Ganondorf trying to get in there. Oh my god, Lucario goes out though, thanks to the champion of champions, who leaves his minions to do the work against Samus now. Samus has had so many problems with Ganondorf, but she just can't seem to get her hands on the champion of champions, Ganondorf. Unbelievable! Oh man. Evil will always triumph because good is dumb. It looks like Ganondorf trained his entourage tonight to absolutely go against the likes of Robin and his team. Ganondorf came with a strategy and he executed it to perfection here tonight. But what's this with Bayonetta? Is Bayonetta a permanent member of the Entourage of Darkness? We, we saw her at the... Oh man. Well, not a good night for the, uh, not a night for, not a good night for the good guys, I guess. Evil certainly does triumph here tonight, leading into Plaza Party. Is that an omen of what's to come? Is Ganondorf going to just retain the Champion of Champions trophy again, or can Robin finally tear it away from Ganondorf? Will we have a new champion after all this time? Stay tuned for Plaza Party, everyone. We'll see you next time for Smash Wii UDF. Thanks for watching. Bye!